Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. So today I'm very excited to check it out. Avalanche! Look out below, Parker Brothers Swinging Gate Game. This is for two to six players. Take about five to ten minutes to play. And it's for ages, uh, I don't know, four plus. And in Avalanche, you're going to be putting marbles into little slots on the top of a apparatus thing and trying to get your specific color of marble down so you can fill in your little tic-tac-toe board before everybody else fills in their tic-tac-toe board. It's light, it's simple, it's luck-based, but is it good? Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Avalanche. So, first and foremost, we got our handy-dandy rule booklet. I did not have mine, but there was an easy PDF I could find online. Three pages, uh, black and white, very well done. Uh, should have you up and running in no time at all. It's also a very simple game. I can teach you how to play right now. So, in Avalanche, there's numerous different ways to play the game. I think it comes with four different ways you can play the game. I'm going to be talking about the basic version of the game because that's what I was able to attempt to play. And I'll explain that a little bit more later. So, first, you're going to have components and gameplay. Obviously, components, you got this nice 3D thing. It's going to be held up uh, with this really cool stick system. You stick the stick through there, and it actually works surprisingly well. I was skeptical. I thought, you know, a bump of the table or something like that would knock marbles down, but it actually worked really well. So, thumbs up on that. Next, you're going to get your box insert. The box insert is actually really nice. It, uh, it has a spot to hold all three of the different colored marbles to hold these, uh, these tic-tac-toe looking boards. And each player is going to get one of these in the basic version of the game. You're going to put it in front of yourself. And the first person to fill their thing up with those colored marbles will win the game. So what do you do on your turn? Well, we'll just have a two-player game right here. Pretty self-explanatory. On your turn, you're going to put marbles into these top holes here and then collect whatever marbles come down to the bottom. And you're always going to collect a marble on your turn unless, of course, it's the first turn. But let's just get it started and I'll show you how it works. So this guy will go first. And being the first player means you only get to put up to five marbles in. So you have to make sure you try and get a marble out within five. So I'm just going to grab... Uh, four or five yellow ones because he clearly needs a lot of yellow and this guy does not need any yellow So he'll put one there and I'll put one there and oh, 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 we almost got one I'll put one there and oh, look at that, I get a yellow So that would be the end of my turn and blop, just like that, I get a yellow on my space So now the next guy goes, he does not need yellow, he needs green So he's going to grab some green, he'll put a green over here, he'll put another green over there And look at that, two greens Pretty lucky So I'll take the two greens, and I'll put the two greens over here, like that. Uh, next, we have ourselves back to me. You know what? I want some red, too, so I'm going to slide some red on in there. Put a red here, a red here, and a red here. And uh, let's see. Get some more reds going on. Get some more reds popping. More reds popping. Cause what's it? And yeah, so we ended up getting two yellows and a red. So that was actually really fantastic for us. Now, I want you to pay attention to one thing right here that has now happened. And that is that there are two marbles in there. And I want you to just note that. So now we'll go back to this guy over here. And he's he's wanting that green. He's needing that green. He also needs red, though. So you know what? There's two reds right there. So why doesn't he just go ahead and get himself some greens? So he's just dropping all the greens. All the greens all day. Greens all day. Yeah, give me that green. Look at all those green and red right there. Oh, that's going to be great once all those drop, right? That's going to be great once all those drop, right? Oh, actually, they did drop. That never happens. Okay, so we have two reds, three reds. He doesn't need the third red, so he puts that red back, and he's close to winning the game. Now, uh, that's that's really unusual. So let's get back over to the other guy. Let's just finish this game out. We'll give you a, a whole gameplay of this. So he's going to go green, 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 and wow, he might have just won the game. There. So green, green 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 and then he's got the one red he doesn't need the rest of the green so he puts the green back into the box anywho you're going to continue to do this until the board entirely fills up now i do want to note uh normally this is the first time i actually think i could have completed a game but we'll talk more about that in the pros and cons but that in a nutshell is what you're going to do inside of avalanche all right then, Avalanche from the Parker Brothers. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the pro side, game is a wide player count, two to six players. Also, 
very easy to learn, easy to teach. The rules are very well laid out, easy to understand. There's four different versions of the game to play, two beginners versions, two advanced versions, so you get a little bit more bang for your buck there. The box inserts really nice. It holds all the marbles, despite the fact if you ever flip the box over, all the marbles are going to go everywhere, but, but still, it's a nicely done box insert, and component-wise, aside from the big apparatus, which I'll talk more about in a second, uh, nice components. The marbles are nice. Uh, even though the yellow and the green can blend together just a little bit. Now, on to the actual apparatus itself, the gimmick of the game, the balancing mechanism, uh, the, uh, the ball going down mechanism of the game, the Plinko mechanism, I guess I'll call it. Uh, it looks very good. It looks good on the table. People are going to be interested in what you're playing. And if you shake the table ever so slightly or bump it, it's not going to knock the marbles down, which I was very pleasantly surprised about. I thought for sure that was going to happen. That's what I got on the pro side. Moving on to the con side, I don't mind games that are built on gimmicks. I really don't. And I noticed, especially in the 80s, they had a lot of games that were built on gimmicks. And I've played some, and I've enjoyed some that were based specifically on a gimmick. This game is based on a gimmick. But the problem with building a game around a gimmick is you have to make sure that gimmick works front to back. And this gimmick did not work. I tried this game three separate times in my classroom, and each time I tried to do it, that happened. And uh, needless to say, that ruins the game. So the marbles get clogged up, you get two stuck inside there, and then three stuck inside there, and four stuck inside there, and then the game just does not work. Now we house ruled it, each of the three games, to make it so that once we ran out of marbles, then you had to take turns taking marbles out in order to have things fall, but you shouldn't have to house rule it, and they should have made this better. Uh, now it might just be my version of it, but I did get online, did a little bit of snooping, and other people also had issues with their vintage version of the game uh, getting jammed up. So, I mean, that's that's really what you need to know. I played this three times, and each time the game did not work because of the components in the game, and that's an issue. So that makes this game garbage. I mean, it really does. But if you're actually looking at the nuts and bolts of the gameplay, I mean, it's very light, it's very simple, which obviously is going to be a turn off to most people. Uh, but... <clears throat> Alrighty then, Avalanche from Parker Brothers. What are my final thoughts? Let's go to the pros, let's go to the cons. Two to six players, pretty nice player count. Also, there's four different versions of the game in this. So you have the two basic versions and the two advanced versions, so you get a little bit more bang for your buck. Um, it literally is a game that anybody can play, which is great. As long as you are not worried about someone swallowing and choking on marbles, this is a game for just about everybody, which is always a good thing. So you definitely can play this as a family game. It's not going to scare off grandma or anybody like that at family get-togethers if it worked, which I'll talk about later. Um, Component-wise, the, the box inserts are really nice, aside from the fact that if you flip the box over, all the marbles go everywhere. The marbles, really solid marbles. They're nicely done marbles, even though the yellow and the green can blend together just a little bit. The, uh, the gimmick of the game, the, the Plinko gimmick, looks really cool, and if you bump it or nudge it a little bit, the marbles are not going to come down, which I was expecting to happen. And that's what I got on the pro side. Moving on to the con side, I don't hate games that are built around gimmicks. I actually really enjoy them. I think they're really cool when they work. But when they don't work, that means that your game is broken and your game does not work. And that is unfortunately the category that Avalanche fell into for me. Because I tried this three separate times in my classroom. And this happened each and every time where marbles would get clogged up and more marbles would get clogged up and more marbles would get clogged up. And it got to the point where we had to house rule it and say, all right, well, when this inevitably happens, we're just going to take marbles out now in order for stuff to fall down. Uh, and that's, I shouldn't have to fix your game. Now, it might just mean my copy of the game, but I got online, did a little bit of snooping, and other people actually had this issue too with everything getting jammed up in there. So, there you go. I mean, that's really what you need to know about Avalanche. Doesn't matter about the gameplay, doesn't matter about the components, doesn't matter about this, doesn't matter about that. If the game doesn't work, I can't recommend the game, so this is a bad game because the game doesn't work. Which is unfortunate because I definitely think I could have found a place for this with really young children, four and five-year-olds, I think, uh, because... I played this with a younger group of kids when I first played it, and they really dug it. They really thought it was cool. They were trying to get the colors. They were enjoying watching all the marbles fall down. And then when it started to get clogged up, that ruined the fun. And yeah, games that don't work do ruin fun. So in the end, Avalanche could have been something cool, but instead uh, it, it's something that stinks because Parker Brothers didn't do their due diligence in playtesting their components.
So there you go. Avalanche. Parker Brothers. Parker Brothers. Seriously? Come on. Come on. You, you're going to make a game and you're not going to test it out? Three out of three times I tried to play this game and screwed up. Now that being said, actually in the middle part, if you watch the middle part, it worked fine, which is odd. But seriously, 75% conversion or 75% your game working or 25 percent your game working rate is just not it's it's bad that's bad Ugh. but that's avalanche from parker brothers one that could have been something cool that i could recommend but instead it doesn't work so it's a pile of crap if you enjoyed this review please sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below let me know what's your favorite game with a gimmick and what is that gimmick for me personally off the top of my head uh i really like I really like cube towers, but I'm going to go with I'm going to go with jungle speed. You know, I like the uh, I like the grabbing the thing in the middle. You know, even though sometimes you get hurt doing it, I really think that's a cool gimmick. Having to the speed aspect of that game. I don't know if that would really fall into the category of being a gimmick or not, but still, I'm going to throw it in there. But let me know in the comments below what is your favorite game with a gimmick. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Oh no, no. oh yeah, I guess this, the video's over. Get out, get out of here.